All right. Hello, everybody. We are about 15 days away from Halloween, and Spirit, you probably have one in your town, is the go-to place for Halloween uh, supplies. So we're about to enter Spirit of Halloween. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. We'll just start right here at the beginning, take a look at everything. Hey, how you doing? All right, so let's see what we have here. <clears throat> Good scarecrow outfit, an enchanted ghost, a whole bunch of fun stuff. Devilish, devi devious devil for the female devil. And Grim Reaper, these are kind of, I don't know, these packaged costumes really aren't usually that impressive. This Big Frank down here is pretty cool. See Big Frank. If you listen carefully, in the background you can hear the theme song to Halloween. Now you know you're in a legit... Now this is a Beetlejuice costume, but they don't call it a Beetlejuice costume because of copyright things. They call it the striped suit. Hang on, check it out. The striped suit. But obviously it's Beetlejuice. Who else would wear that, right? So that's cool if you want to be Beetlejuice. This uh, animated chainsaw. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Now, <laughs> all right. I get it. Pretty cool. Now, that's good if you want to be like a clown, I guess, or a maniac. I, I would assume a clown. You would not want to carry that around if you were... Okay, how can I get this to stop? Okay. <laughs> if you were going to be Leatherface, you wouldn't want it laughing hysterically. It wouldn't really fit. Yeah, let's see what other kind of fun stuff. Some neat um, jewelry, costume jewelry. If you just wanted to be a ghoul of some kind. Day of the Dead face tattoos. Very cool, very cool. Mm, let's see here. We got uh, silver spider web poncho, black cat poncho. Yeah, a lot of... Now, I have a um, suit similar to this. I think the pattern on mine might be a little bit different. But I do have the pumpkin suit, or as I like to call it, the ambassador of Halloween suit. I have that. It's actually inspired by David Pumpkins from a Saturday Night Live skit. And uh, David Pumpkins. Any questions? So check that out. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, now here is, we're getting into some of the movies. There's American Horror Story, which I never really watched. Never watched American Horror Story, but apparently this is a character from one of the more uh, popular um, uh, seasons. And this guy's name is Twisty the Clown. I have no idea what season he was a part of or anything. They have a clown machete. I don't know if he carried that in the show. Now they have a Bride of Chucky talking animated Chucky. Okay, it says try it. Let's see what he does. Mom! What did you see this thing? Look at this. Oh, focus, focus. Can't really hear him that well. I guess he's saying something terrifying though. Oh, and down here we have... Look at this. There's a Friday the 13th so string lights. So That's kind of cool, because Freddy and Jason are my, my go-to. Oh, here's another one. Is this the same thing? This one looks a little different. Let me see here. Hang on. Oh, no, I guess they're the same. Maybe we can... A lot of these things that you buy that have sound on them, the sound is usually pretty bad. Here's a sexy Chucky, Seed of Chucky outfit. And uh, they have the um, Freddy Krueger glove. I don't know if that was... Now this is, it says deluxe, but this is not really deluxe. This is like plastic. I actually have the deluxe one at home that's made out of real metal. This one looks pretty good though. This would uh, be just fine for photo ops and whatever you might need it for. The, um, the mask of Freddy right there. I don't really think that's very high quality. It doesn't really look like him. If you look real closely at the detail of the paint job. It's pretty quickly done. This is probably one of those made in China deals. Let's see here. They're asking uh, $24.99. Now it's about two weeks till Halloween so I imagine these prices are going to start to go down here. Let's see if it says Japan manufactured by Rubies. Rubies they, they make some pretty good stuff if you go to their website. And then good old Michael Myers here of course. Now I don't know why anybody would buy this I guess, I guess you could wear that and just style your hair, but you gotta have the full rubber mask. I can't imagine Michael just wearing something like this. That'd be crazy. It's Michael Myers' child costume, adult costume. 
pretty neat. I mean, it's just a jumpsuit, though. You could go to a thrift store and get that for 10 bucks. And how much are they asking for it here? Uh, $60. So Spirit's a bit pricey. $60 for a brand new um, costume jumpsuit. Not even a real jumpsuit. And there's Pennywise, the 1980s Tim Curry version. Was that was that uh, late 90s or early 90s or late 80s? I don't know when that came out. But and then you got the Freddy sweater, which I actually do. I have one of these, but unfortunately, mine has like I think that it's like ripped up here. It, I bought it that way because it's supposed to look all tattered and torn. But I would really rather have a a sweater that is not tattered and torn, it's just in good condition like this. You know, I'm I'm just particular about my Freddy costume. So anyway, and in here we have some Victorian vampire stuff. There's a gothic vampire, Victorian vampire jacket. These are cool if you're going for sort of the gothy kind of look. Now, here's something. Check this out now. Hocus Pocus. You got Mary Sanderson, Sarah Sanderson, and Winifred San Sanderson. Now, I know this because I just watched this movie for the first time last night. I know. I'm 46 years old, and I just saw Hocus Pocus for the first time last night and it was a fun it was it was a kids movie it was definitely a disney movie but it was fun it was well made you know um i was pretty pleased with it. i like bet midler and anyway so she's she's great and uh good movie so there you go that'd be fun for three girls to dress up as together oh billy butcherson look at that he was one of the characters in hocus pocus too that's right i forgot about that i'm surprised they don't have oh they got a billy butcherson mask wow let's take a look at this here Billy Butcherson, The Mask. <laughs> yeah, I guess you'd have to... I don't want to have to explain my costume to people. If you're somebody like Jason, you really don't need to explain. Everybody knows Friday the 13th. You're gonna, you would have to explain Billy Butcherson. Now, if you're three women and you're dressed in these outfits, most, more than likely you're not going to have to explain your Hocus Pocus unless somebody hadn't seen the movie. But if it's something crazy like A Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th, or you're never going to have to explain to anybody, I'm Leatherface. What are you supposed to be? I'm Leatherface. What are you supposed to be? I'm Chucky. Black Panther. Okay, kind of cool. Great movie. One of the absolute best. Black Panther, Guardians of the Galaxy, one of the absolute best Marvel movies ever made, in my humble opinion. J-M-O. Okay. Eh, let's see what we got over here. A few odds and ends. Batgirl. Batgirl. Okay. Bat they don't, I guess they don't have Batwoman, just Batgirl. Here's some Joker outfits and Riddler. Got Joker and the Riddler. And let's see, here's a Riddler hat. And here is the Riddler uh, package outfit. There's a Joker one up there. There's a Joker. That, that Joker looks pretty good. The uh, mask on that one looks pretty good. And there's a Joker uh, cane. Okay, I didn't really know he carried a cane, but... That's cool. There's a Arkham City Batman or Robin down there. Now here's a Jack Skellington. That's right. Okay. Oogie Boogie. That looks fun. How does that work now? Oh, it's an inflatable. Yeah, it would have to be, right? Oogie Boogie. Uh, oh, and there's a fan included. Oh, I guess it's a battery-operated fan. Okay. Okay. That's fun. The only problem I would see with that kind of costume is that if you're at a party and you're walking by a table full of food, you're going to have to be careful you don't knock anything over. Just my opinion. Now, this is kind of cool. Check this out. That's cool. Friday the 13th. I'm a big fan of Jason. I am, I am just uh, offended by this mask, though. This mask is horrible. Absolute horrible quality. I mean, come on, give me a break. Jason Voorhees mask ice cube tray. Here. Ooh, look at this. This is kind of just what I'm looking for. The Jason Voorhees machete. Nice. Nice. And I like that it's it's soft enough where you could hit somebody with it. And you could whack somebody upside the head and it wouldn't hurt them. They have another one that, um, this one's only $10. They have another one that I saw that I almost bought the other day. I mean, it was like $12.99 or something. And I was like, eh, this is a little bit too, too expensive. But I like that one. I think I'm going to actually get that before I leave. Okay, so we're going on here. More vampires, more gothy vampires. Now this is this is a good. This is the old school vampire right here. 
You're Count Dracula. There's no nobody's gonna ask you what or who you're supposed to be. Count Dracula. That's classic right there. That's awesome. I have yet to be um, Dracula. I have never been Dracula for Halloween, so that might be something on my list. I got these great teeth here. These are Spirit brand, but these are the same as the. I think there's another brand called Fangs, and they make uh, pretty good teeth. They're a little bit of a hassle because you have to uh, form them to your real teeth, but they do stay in good, and you can talk with them, and you don't even sound like you're wearing teeth. Now, let's see what else we got here. There's a Harley Quinn. She's always big for Halloween, fun for the ladies. Harley, Harley Quinn. And in the superhero aisle, they have um, Superman with fake muscles built in there. That's cool. Supergirl, Wonder Woman. Pretty cool. And they got the Wonder Woman shield here. Pretty heavy duty, actually. I wonder if that has the straps on the back that you can... Yep. That's great. Oh, here we go. Deadpool. This is obviously a real big one. Deadpool. They got all kinds of... Uh, let's see. Oh, there's more Nightmare Before Christmas. Sally wig. Sally dress. Okay. Yeah, I guess those are the same. There's a female Deadpool. Adult costume. I guess, right? It says large, but that's definitely made for a female. Deadpool socks. Here's a Deadpool suit with the muscles built in. Kind of cheesy looking. 50 bucks. Fun for kids, I guess. Now, we have not gotten to my favorite section yet, which is masks. Oh, I love a good mask. I'm very judgmental, though, on masks. I will, I will pick out everything wrong with a mask. This mask here is actually pretty good. This is all Fortnite stuff. If you're familiar with the, um, uh, the game Fortnite, you can play it on your phone. And uh, they have a lot of Fortnite stuff here. This is actually a pretty good looking mask. And it's probably not that expensive either, right? $20. Okay, well, it's a good looking mask though. It's a good looking mask. Glad to see that they have the um, animatronics working today. Step here. Warning, Child left, children left unattended will be sold to the circus. And this will probably be your, your new boss. Now, of course, is Michael Myers stabbing away. That is not a very good looking Michael Myers mask. So if I bought that, first thing I would do is put a new mask on there. And probably like a more realistic head underneath. Let's see. At least he has the eyes in there though. And that's, whoa, $259? Uh, no. No, not with that poor quality of a mask. And that hair looks terrible. And, and he needs some foam or something in his legs to beef him up a little bit. So he would definitely need some work. All right, now this thing here, this is not, I guess this, they don't have this set on motion activation. There's no foot pad to turn it on. Let me see if this clown guy is working. Oh yeah, there he is. There you go. It just laughs. All right, that's good. That's actually pretty good. Let's see what else I have. A whole bunch of funny costumes over here. If you want to be a giant inflatable poop, again, you've got to be careful at parties. It's going to be hard to get around if you're dressed like something that's inflatable, like this dinosaur, inflatable bull rider, fun, uh, beer pint. And here's from, uh, what's the name of that movie? Uh, Trooper, super, super Troopers, I guess it is. The um, Sergeant Short Pants. Inflatable Sumo Wrestler. That looks fun. Banana. Pickle. I guess they can't say Pickle Rick because of copyright, but obviously anybody who dresses like a pickle this year is going to be Pickle Rick. Now look at here. It's a deluxe gorilla outfit. Not bad. I would rather be a, a Yeti or an abominable snowman, Bigfoot or something like that, you know? I just think it would be more fun. Gorilla's kind of played out. Gnome piggyback, Oktoberfest piggyback, skeleton piggyback, Mexican man. Now, who else is offended by this, right? In the time we live in today, shouldn't we be offended? Shouldn't I march right up to the front counter right now and say, ma'am, excuse me, this is extremely offensive to me. Please, um, please remove this from your shelf. Mexican man. Where's the Italian man? 
Where's the Hungarian man? There's a breathalyzer machine. And as you can see where the mouthpiece is for the breathalyzer. All right, that's also could be offensive. Beef taco. Um, I guess I can't really be offended. Unless if it said Mexican man on the beef taco outfit, I could be offended by that. Inflatable baby. Alan Pickman. That's pretty fun looking. Inflatable eagle. Soap and loofah. Here's a Slimer mask. Wow, look at that. I'll bet you this is at least $20, maybe more. $60, are you kidding me? $60, it's not really that good of a quality. But listen, I'm, I don't want to be one of these old geezers that complains about the cost of everything. All right, so here, this is fun, Bob's Burgers. Who does not like this show, Bob's Burgers? And there's even a cool little spatula you can carry around with you. You got the Bob's apron. It's really all you need is the apron, the little pocket thing there, the mustache. Yeah. And there's Louise. We all love Louise and Tina. And beef squatch. There you go. I'd rather be beef squatch than a gorilla. Cheerleader. This is pretty much uh, going to be your typical high school Archie. Okay, it's Archie. Archie cheerleader. And this Toy Story brown cloak. Yeah, I guess you could make you could, you could do a lot with a brown cloak. You could be a druid, a wizard. Uh... No, look at all this Ouija board stuff, huh? We got a Ouija board pillow, <coughs> a Ouija board beer growler. This is just some kind of a looks like a candle holder, candy jar. It says okay, it's got a lid. That's nice. Shot glasses. <coughs> <coughs> A Ouija candle, Ouija beer glass, uh, Ouija travel mug cup, thing. And Ouija coasters over there, another candle, salt and pepper shaker, and this looks like, what is this, an ashtray or just a little plate to put your weed, I mean your uh, dice when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons. And there's an actual Ouija board. This is a uh, exclusive edition. I wonder what makes it exclusive. Probably just a little bit better made than your typical Ouija board. Ouija board blanket, Ouija board placement. What is this? Oh, just a bag. Drawer knobs. Huh. What is this one here? This is coasters. Ouija board coasters. These are damaged. Let's see, they're asking $7.99. I bet you can get them down for five bucks because it looks like a couple of them are damaged there. Ouija board. What is this? Oh, a metal bottle opener. That's interesting. Okay. Ooh, and they have tarot cards. The, the T at the end of the word tarot is silent, so don't say tarot cards, because you sound like a goober. And these are $8. Valance? Not sure what that exact, oh, I guess that you just put that at the top of a curtain. There's a table runner up there, kind of creepy looking. Seance stones, wow, look at that. Never seen that here before, actual seance stones. And there's a uh, light up Happy Halloween banner. That's pretty cool. I like that. A lot of Ouija board stuff. Haunted vacuum. Down there. And they have the Tarot light up crystal ball. I don't know if you would be interested in that, but. Psychic medium. What is this? Just a. Oh, it's a, it's a sign. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. This is kind of neat here. What is this? Just like a, a little knickknack? A book of spells. It's not a real book. But it has your protection spell and your love spell. Those are pretty much the only two spells you'd ever need in life, right? You want to be happy and love, and you want to you want to be protected. All right. Yeah. Let's see, we got some astronaut stuff here. Here's a naughty nun, a priest, bad habit nun, doctor shots, Jesus. All the way down there, see Jesus. Another nun. A couple of different nuns. That's cool. Priest Collar, the Book of, what is this? The Book of Holy Hammered? <laughs> oh, book with hidden flask and two glasses. That's funny. Here's another nun outfit for the more robust woman. I guess that's what that is. Oh, all kinds of cop stuff. Look at this, police sunglasses, handcuffs, dirty cop officer, and banger. I'll tell you what, if a cop ever pulled me over and looked like this, I would, uh, I would not pull over. <laughs> Sergeant Dick Utopia. 
Sergeant Dick Utopia. I'm trying to get that joke and I don't. And then escape convict. That'd be good for a gay couple, right? One, somebody's a officer Ed Banger, and then you have the escape convict, and you can just drag him around all night. Yeah, that'd be kind of funny. Toy gun. Is that okay? Here's a little. I was gonna say that is super unrealistic. But this this one's a little more realistic. Try me. Oh, with electronic gunshot sound. Let's listen. <sighs> I guess that one's not working. Let me see here. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, I'm not real impressed with the sound effect on that. And then there's um, the police hat. Criminally sexy uh, burglar. Police hat there. And a, a toy taser. Hey, that's kind of cool. A toy taser. All right, here you got your Game of Thrones, but of course, if, because of copyright, they can't say that. They can just say a royal storybook queen, a dark knight. It's kind of a cool outfit, actually. Elegant maiden, Lady Robin Hood, Lady of Thrones. There's a mini dragon, a pet dragon. Warrior shield, scarecrow, burlap hood. Really, that's kind of neat. And that's, is that actually made out of real burlap? That's. That's actually pretty creepy. I like that. All right. Okay. And then here is a lot of... I'm not really into this stuff. The steampunk. I just... I, I never got into this. I don't really see what the appeal is. Some people like it, though. More power to you. It's just not my thing. Steampunk just has no attraction to me. Okay, here we go. Hippie wig. Now we're talking. This is some fun stuff right here. You get the whole hippie kit right here. Can't go wrong with, with the hippie kit. Everything you need to be a full-fledged hippie from the 1970s. Feather headband. Well, she makes it look good, doesn't she? <laughs> Here's a female hippie kit. There you go. Female hippie kit. A groovy vest, a hippie vest. Feather headband again. There's a hippie wig down there. Peace and love hippie. Boy, that's the whole outfit there. Festival hat. Yep, isn't it, though? Man, I'll tell you what, the fish concert is going to be in town this weekend and this is going to be the kind of hat oh well, you know they wore these back in the 70s i don't know if they still wear them the hippies still wear them but we'll be finding out soon enough look at this leaf lay i guess this is supposed to look like marijuana it doesn't really not that i i mean you know i've seen pictures of it i've never seen it in real life but it doesn't really look like a weed to me teacher's pet so we're having kind of fun here aren't we all right and then there's um the creepy towering clown we saw earlier. We saw what he did. He uh, he laughs, which is good. There's a fenced-in high vault. This is not one of those Spirit of Halloween tours where we're going to step on a bunch of motion pads because they just don't have anything set up here, unfortunately. I'm a little disappointed by that. Here's a little ukulele. That's cool. I am going to be Jason this year. This will be my first year being Jason. This is cool. Look at this. Witch Doctor jewelry set. Very cool. Very cool. Which Dr. Dagger? Oh, I think as a white guy, I don't think I would be a very convincing uh, witch doctor. I just don't think I could sell that, you know? All right, got more wigs and hats, fun hats. Look at the fun hats. Um, these are mainly for females. Look at this reggae dread wig. <laughs> Deer antlers. Yeah, this is mainly just for, like, sexy ladies. Wapum Gangnam Style. Look at this ugly suit. Oh, my God. Look at this. has just got to be... Wow. Matching pants. Honest to God, this looks like something they would sell at um, Philip Michael Fashion for Men. No joke. No joke. Check it out. Go to philipmichael.com and look at some of their suits. This, these are the kind of... This is the kind of stuff they sell there. This is $50. That's about what you're going to pay for a whole suit at Philip Michaels as well. That, that store is a joke. It is absolutely horrible. I don't know why I'm bashing that business like that. but <laughs> All right, here's a kind of a cool ghost thing. Just very basic and simple. I like that. Some other ghouls you can have hanging around. Looks like an old witch there or something. What is that? Hanging, oh, hanging, strobing old man. It says, try me. Okay, all right. It's more like a scarecrow thing. And, uh, a scarecrow.
scarecrow here. Lots of wigs, lots of wigs. Cemetery gates. Okay, there seems to be some sort of domestic dispute going on a couple of miles over. Um, all right, so now we're gonna get to more good stuff here. Here we go, a, a slappy puppet mask. This is absolutely horrible quality. I wouldn't pay more than two, I wouldn't pay more than a dollar for this. And they're asking how much? $40. Look at this. In my day, you could buy one hell of a nice mask for $40. You hear that woman? Oh, look, now here's, that's a pretty good looking mask right there. That is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask. That's actually not bad looking. That is $50, not surprising. That's actually a decent looking mask though. That's creepy. Pretty well made, too. There's a kitchen knife. Let's see, here's the other machete. Oh, but this one's foam. This is actually more what I was looking for. Here's an old rusty machete. Huh. Oh, gosh, so many decisions. The foam machete is even nicer. Gosh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get the first machete I got and compare it. I wanna compare it, compare the two. All right, so let's see what we got here. Where is this first machete that I saw? Now this is an officially licensed Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees machete, so it's kind of, no, you know what? It's more hollow plastic. It's not really foam, so just got to compare the two and see which one I like better. Which one's bigger, which one's... You decide. Why don't, why don't you vote in the comments which machete you like better, okay? These are the two we're talking about right here. All right, you got the Jason Voorhees machete. There's a good look at it. It's got the blood on it. And it's basically plastic, hollow plastic, okay? And it's about the same size as the foam machete. There they are side by side. This one doesn't really want to stay still for the camera. Let's try to get a good shot of both of them here. Foam machete. Huh. Gosh, you know, this one looks, the foam one looks more silver. This one's like a black machete. This, I think, would show up in pictures better as a silver machete. It would look more like a machete. But there's no blood on it, but that's okay. I, I don't mind there not being blood on it. I don't know, I'll decide later. They got a cool kitchen knife. They got a bloody knife. Just trying to see, these are, I think these are foam. There's a kitchen cleaver. Ooh, there's a bloody ax. You know, I, I'm kind of looking for an ax too. There's a crossbow set, probably like a walking dead kind of thing. Oh, here, barbed wire bat. This is made of foam, so you can really whack people with this. Here's just a plain bat made of foam, throwing knives. Okay, all right. I don't know, I'm really leaning more towards this foam machete. Um, anyway, let's check out some of these masks here. This video is starting to go a bit long. They got the werewolf moving mouth mask. These are actually pretty cool. I saw one the other day, I think it was at a different spirit of a bull. Here, oh, here it is right here. I love this mask. Oh, I gotta put this on so you can see what it looks like, okay? Hang on, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, okay. All right, so this bull moving mouth mask. I wanna try this on just so you guys can see it, okay? Hang on. Uh, that's probably not gonna stay. Maybe it is. All right, put this on in here. Make sure it has the strap. This is the only mask I'm gonna try on. But I want you to see how the mouth moves and stuff. not see at all in that mask. It's a cool looking 
it would make for good photos, but um, it's just nothing you could really wear around. You'd have to take that off as soon as the, you were done shooting photos. But that is the bull moving mouth mask. That's pretty much been my favorite one that I've seen here so far this year. They have a rooster moving mouth, moving mouth mask, black gorilla mask with hands. That is not a very good quality gorilla mask, and it does not have a moving mouth. Uh, let's see what else they have here. They got some kind of dragon. That's kind of neat, but again, I imagine that would be very uncomfortable to wear and hard to see out of. Pig. See, the smaller masks are definitely going to be more lightweight. You're not going to sweat them as much. They're going to be more comfortable. Huge heads crybaby masks. Well, let me tell you, there's a guy online. I can't remember what his name is, but he makes these crying baby masks. And they're like three, four hundred dollars $400, but they're amazing looking. And this is just a cheap imitation of what that guy makes. You have to look him up. He makes like Walter White masks and Ron Jeremy. They look exactly like the person too. This one's pretty good. I like this possessed pumpkin mask. That again, when you're thinking about masks for Halloween, you're not going to have the mask on very long. When you're at a party, when you're eating, when you're drinking, when you're talking, your mask is going to be off. And that's what you're going to be doing most of the time at a party. Really the only time you're going to want to have a mask on is for pictures. So this one I think would look really good in a picture. This is a pretty well-made mask. The art is done well on it. The painting is done well on it. I'm impressed with that one. Now this is a halfway decent President Trump mask, but I don't like the hair. And I understand the joke. They're trying to make the hair kind of stringy and all over the place, but it's just too much. It's too much of a mess. But the face is good. The face is, is pretty well made. And there's a, well, well, there's a basset hound. We have a basset hound. I guess it kind of looks like a basset hound. I don't know. Not very good quality, if you ask me. Uh, let's see. Here's a... They don't have any... Like axe though. The only axe I see is that bloody axe way over there, and I don't, I don't like how that looks. We'll, we'll keep looking. A Viking axe. Let's see. Let's turn this around and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's that's good looking. If you want to be a Viking, there's a there's a uh, axe down here. Executioner. And I'm just looking more like a traditional axe, something Jason would use. I wouldn't mind having two weapons, you know. There's a chainsaw now. See, that's if you're gonna be now. See, this one says animated chainsaw. I bet you this one doesn't have, doesn't laugh, because this is what you would carry around if you were a leather. Player. See, that's what you need right there. That's what you need, and that way you're not firing up a real chainsaw, which is incredibly loud. It smells like diesel. It's just terrible. This one also very creepy. I don't know if this is from a movie or what. Jay the Killer. That is extremely creepy looking. I think that that one is a really good one. There's a crazy clown. That comes with a chest and hands. Along with the mask. Uh, let's see. There's a 10% off this chainsaw because it has a damaged tip. Oh, yeah. See that? Huh. Bad voice changer. In stitches. Yeah, this scarecrow mask is pretty, pretty neat looking there. Oh, that's a good one there. The mouth moves and everything. Nice. I like that. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Jack O. Rotten <laughs> and Emotion Mask. Is this one? Does this mouth move too? Let me see. You can often tell because it'll have a strap in there. That's a that's a good looking mask. I wonder if this mouth moves. Let me see. Oh, I see the the gums are foam, so they sort of snarl back. So you can see the uh, the creepy bloody gums underneath. Okay, see that's cool. Yeah, there's a uh, the Purge election year angry Abraham Lincoln mask. <laughs> that's a lot of explaining to you if you're if you got to explain to people who you are. Are you supposed to be an angry Abraham Lincoln? Well, no, see, there's this movie called The Purge Election Year. You have to have seen this specific movie. Chinless Old Man. That's my kind of mask, you know? That way your mouth's free to talk and eat and drink. Happy Baby. Another cheap ripoff of the real baby mask. Metallic Werewolf. 
face. That's kind of dumb. Okay, decaying face zombie mask. This one actually looks pretty good. It looks like it would it's not it would be very lightweight, very comfortable, and fit you very good. I I'm telling you what's a good mask and what's not a good mask. Deluxe living tree with hands. Okay. Scream the TV series. Again, if I saw somebody wearing, I would have no idea. This is from a MTV show called Scream. Never even heard of it. Uh, what's that one? The Strangers Pray at Night. I think I may have seen that movie. I don't remember. Super Soft Old Woman. See that one right there? I have that one. Jen went as that one year for Halloween. Serial Killer. This is a pretty good, nice lightweight. Yeah, I bet you that's super creepy looking. That one gets my thumbs up. Glow in the Dark Skull. This is not very good quality, but it feels very cheap. Undead Zombie. Wow, this one looks pretty good, actually. That's a pretty creepy looking mask. I like that one. There it is. Here's a closer one. Hmm. Hey, there's a 300. Rise of an Empire. Proto Samurai. It's very cheaply made. Very, very thin plastic, so I probably wouldn't go for that one. And who do we have down here? Is this a... That's a terrible looking presidential mask. Poorly made, doesn't look anything like him. It's just awful. I, I wouldn't give him $10 for this. It's a good thing they're only asking $21.99. No, that's crap. That's absolute crap. Blood Demon, that one's actually looks pretty good. The paint job is real good on that. I like that one. This Bone Skull, not bad. That one's pretty good, yeah. I really like this undead zombie. I wonder what they're asking for this. 30 bucks. Okay. That's that's really good. Huh. If he had the droopy eye, then he could be that could be a Jason mask, but I'm doing something a little bit different. Stapled mouth. That is a pretty good looking one. Stapled mouth. I like that one. Dark foam. Clown mask? Okay, yeah, all right, it's okay, I guess. Pretty basic. Old lady? Old lady, let me see that. That is $10, okay. That's pretty simple, easy to take on and off. Good for photos, you know. Funny dude. Oh man, that's, that's, that's great right there. Funny dude, love it. Kind of looks like Alfred E. Newman. There's another old lady, let's see what, googly eye clown mask. Ooh, that one's pretty neat. The eyes actually are googly. Yeah, that one's, that one's pretty well made. I like that one. <clears throat> oh, look, here's an axe. Here's an axe. I don't like, I wish it could not just have a straight handle, though. I don't like this curved handle. I'm not getting an axe. I'm just getting a machete. Barbed wire bat, sword. A whole bunch of swords, too. I didn't even go over there. Horrible, horrible quality. You can you can buy one of these though and sort of make it into a better one. They have YouTube videos on how to make a better quality. That one's pretty good. Pretty well made. Uh, and it's on sale, looks like $34.99. Give you a closer look at that one. You see what I mean? The paint job is, is done well. That's a that's a good match. There's a pipe wrench. They have a foam dagger. There's not an axe, but it's sort of like a medieval kind of thing. I'm not really wanting to do that. Rusty saw. They have various scars and wounds. Huh. Oh, look, look at this. They have an eyeball. See, if I wanted to put some foam latex over one of my eyes and have this one drooping down, I could be totally be Jason. Huh. How much is that? Just out of curiosity. Four bucks. Yeah. The eye looks a little small though, am I right? I don't know, is that what size her eyes are? Let me, let, hold it up to my eye. Let me you tell me what you think, okay? Hold on. Alright. So here's me. And here's the eye. Does that look about right size? Size-wise? Does that look good? <laughs> I think it's a little bit too small. I don't know. They got werewolf ears, devil horns, medium cuts, tri tripophobia. Um, that's for people who have fear of like holes. 
bruising wounds, medium cuts, loose stitches, antlers. Huh, very subtle, very subtle antlers. Those are very small. Double horns, pretty cool looking. Wicked Witch, that, what is that, just a nose? Oh, it's a chin. Okay. Bald cat, those never match. Look at that. Look at that, that doesn't even come close to matching. Oozing wounds. There's if you want to be a joker. There's a joker there. Joker smile. <coughs> Here's another. It looks like a thinner bald cap. Still doesn't match at all. Uh, veteran horns. That's basically like, um, what's his name? Hellboy. Hellboy who has the broken off horns. Deluxe zombie makeup kit. Here's a spider. Just some random spider. Here's a devil serpent trident. Huh. I want to be the devil one year. One year I will be the devil. I think my brother-in-law has a a thing similar, very similar to this. I don't know if it's the exact same one, but uh, excuse me. There's a sword there. Thor's hammer. Medieval sword. All kinds of cool sp swords and pokers and spears. You definitely need something like this if you were going to be the devil. <coughs> Yeah, I wasn't. I'm really not impressed with that um, that bull mask because you can't see out of it at all. Now, see, this is what I might need to carry around too. Like, not this. More like a freshly killed human head. Uh, all they have is zombie heads here. I don't see any. Now, if I was going to be like the Friday, the, the Jason that I'm being from Friday the Thirteenth is from part three and he had not turned into zombie jason yet that wasn't until part six that's when he became zombie jason before that he was just like a fresh alive looking dude and then once he became zombie he became zombie jason um that's when he got this the chains and the things that he put around the neck <clears throat> so i can't wear that around my neck because i am not that era jason there you go those eyes look pretty good, don't they? Huh. All right, thank you. All right, here's our talking. Oh, good. The appetizers have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. All right, I think we're going to wrap this up, only because I don't want this video to go too long, because once it gets into to be like an hour long, it becomes near impossible to upload. Beware of zombie cat, zombie dog, rotting hams, dead, and breakfast. Pose and stay skeleton, pretty cool. There's a neat picture you put up on your wall there. Create the ultimate scare. Set your props in motion with the swinging mechanism. Huh, that is cool. Dare your guests and bring props to life with step pad activator. Scare trick or treaters from a distance with the multi prop remote. That's cool, ghost swing. Huh. All this fun stuff here. I think we've seen most of the stuff here. They don't have fresh severed human heads, which I'm a little disappointed in. <clears throat> this is all kids stuff here. Here's here you go. Here you go. Look at that. Save the best for last. Jack and Sally from the hit movie. And they don't have either one of them hooked up. I just stepped on the step pad activator. That's a little disappointing, but. Anyway, okay, there you go. Sally and Jesse. I mean, wait a minute, Jack. <laughs> From A Nightmare Before Christmas. <clears throat> and that will conclude this tour of Spirit of Halloween. Yeah. Oh, now he talks. Why did he say thank you? Well, you're welcome, Jack. Thank you for joining us on this tour. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Bye. Bye, Jack. It's great to be home. Merry Christmas. <laughs>